A CNBC TV 18 exclusive news break suggests that the government is considering bringing in an additional product link production-linked incentive scheme for the pharmaceutical sector. But this time, the target is manufacturing of vaccines. As we wait for clarity on the contours of the new scheme, let's review the performance of the three PLI schemes that were rolled out for bulk drugs, medical devices and pharmaceuticals in 2020. Ekta joins us now to give us a status report. Ekta. Thanks for that. Well, let's start with the PLI scheme for key starting materials, drug intermediates and active pharma ingredients or APIs, which had a financial outlay of around 6,940 crores. A total of 239 applications were received and 49 applications were selected for 32 products. As of December 2021, only 21% or 775 crores of the total investment committed of 3,685 crores was deployed and three projects were commissioned. For medical devices, the financial outlay was around 3,420 crores. A total of 42 applications were received, of which 21 applications were approved. As of December 2021, a total of 167.3 crores was invested, which is close to 16% of the total commitment of a little over 1,050 crores. Lastly, the largest was the PLI scheme for the pharmaceutical sector. It entailed an outlay of around 15,000 crores, which is spread across biopharma, API, autoimmunes to anti-diabetic anti drugs. The operational guidelines were issued in June 2021 and a total of 278 applications were received, of which 55 applications were selected. Industry experts suggest that slow offtake is likely because the rollout of the PLI scheme coincided with the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, when pharma companies were focused on critical investments which resulted in delays in commissioning of PLI projects. Also, companies take at least a few months to maybe a year to sometimes finalize investments, which is why we could now see more projects commissioned under the PLI versus what we saw last year. In fact, large companies such as Aurobindo have their PLI project commission with the company investing around $8 million in Q1 and the project is likely to come on stream by April 2024. Even the likes of Sun Pharma and Dr. Reddy's did benefit from PLI in the quarter gone by. While the quantum is not known, Sun and Dr. Reddy's have begun accruing benefits as they invested the mandated capex to scale up ex existing products that were a part of the scheme. But are there issues with the current structure of the PLI scheme? Yes, say industry insiders. Companies say the PLI scheme needs to be opened up for more products. For example, the medical devices space should be opened up to encourage investments in products that are consumed in bulk, such as glucometers, thermometers, and not just high-end devices. Also, companies feel they should be able to apply for the PLI scheme on tap with longer timelines to achieve the targets put out. Ekta, many thanks for joining us. That is the PLI report card for the pharma.